normally. I don't work out on Sundays, and I'd already taken a shower yesterday, but I just, we're moving, we're packing today and painting, so I didn't really feel like blaming myself up today, if that makes sense, or really even getting ready. So I just decided if I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna work out. There's no excuse not to. So I'm excited to, to do that. Oh, that's a cool Mustang. The lights are cool, Jeffrey. So I was excited for that. I got in a pretty good ab workout today. Actually, not as good as yesterday, but I mean, I normally don't work out on Sundays anymore. So this is my lighter day workout. It's so nice outside today. It says it's 95, but I think it's just 95 in the car. And it feels wonderful because like I'm not all made up, so I don't really care about getting hot or sweaty. It doesn't bother me. It feels so good outside. Like, it's actually sunny for once. I cannot believe that. I thought it was supposed to rain all weekend, but it turned out to be a pretty nice Sunday. We had sushi last night. That was pretty good. Although, I didn't like mine. I didn't care for mine at all. Like, it was fried, and maybe I just don't like a bunch of fried stuff anymore. Maybe because I'm used to eating healthier that I don't like that. I don't, I don't know. But I really didn't care for it. Like, I made Jeffrey eat it. I mean, I didn't make him eat it, but he was okay with eating it. I just didn't, I don't know if it was batter or something in it, but it was just way too heavy on my stomach. And actually, I only ate one, and I was like, no, this isn't going to work. So anyways, we are headed to Home Depot right now. I actually really like Home Depot. Like, that's one of my favorite stores now. It's so weird. Right? Those are cool. What are those for? Like that. So this is what you do is you pick out. No, that's for fireplace. Look, Jeffrey. Look at the one on the far right. Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty that cool. cool. No, because look, that one is for. Right. Why aren't they over by the other stuff? It. Well, because you have to order. It's the. These. Right. See where it says 31 wide, right. 22 deep? Right. It'd be the 49 wide, 22 deep. Oh. And you'd get a double vanity, basically. I like the top right one. I mean, I don't like the, like, I like the stone. Well, how much do you think? No, no, that one's 209 and that's a 61 inch. I like it's theory of a dead man. I don't I don't think that looks good. I don't think that looks good. That's kinda cool. The white one. But that would get dirty fast and scuffed. Yeah. Where would we find like a double vanity? Double vanity? Yeah. Like a 60 inch, the one in the van, and the one in the van, and the one in the one in the van, and the one in the van, the one What are we gonna paint? What? The next color is like paint. I haven't even thought about that. What yeah, I'm thinking about a bone for it. I need to, I wanna take a look. A bone? <laughs> yes, it's bone a shade. Color. Yeah, for my office. All right, we need... Look, it's a paint roller cover. Paintbrush cover. Oh, we need another one of those? That's what you were talking about? Yeah. I'm trying to and like this would be like in the kitchen. This way. Maybe need a bubble bump to that, but I'm thinking more of actually like a. Uh, That's a cute color for the baby's room if it's a girl. 
If it's a girl, I'm doing a bad straight, Jeffrey. That's not bad. What do you think about? That comes up like, like white on camera. Um, yeah, I like it. So you got the darker, right? And then what we probably do is that instead, so they're more contrasting. I mean, keep the other one just in yeah. case because I like it. Do you like that color for the baby's room or the pink? I like the pink. Why? You want them right. to have something light, don't you? Right. As what if it's a girl? What if it's a boy? Can we still do pink? No. Why not? Well, you could do like a. That's cute. I like that. Elusive Dawn. That could be in the kitchen. One of those two colors. Ooh, I really like that one, especially when it's shiny. What's the shiny part for? You see how it like sh the the bottom half of the paper is shiny? It's a uh, eggshell. No, I'm sorry. It's hey. Semi gloss. On Pinterest, there's cool ways to put. Um... So we need these. Right. So is that twenty-two dollars per? Dang, yeah. that really is. Weather shields. Do you think they have five S locations, Jeffrey? Uh-huh. Oh. I said uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, never. Good morning, y'all. So it is a Monday. I'm about to head to work. I've just got on this cute Francesca stop. And I've got on these white Wranglers and some heels, which I don't know if you'll be able to see. So I'm headed to work right now. And I'm going to have a good day. Today is Monday. I think... I don't know what's going on. I know the funeral's tomorrow. I don't really know that I have the time to get off for it, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to kind of see about that, um, which is kind of sad. But I don't know. Like, I don't want to regret not going. But then again, if I mean, I don't know if I have all the time because we're moving as well. So we'll be moving out this weekend. So it's just a lot of things going on this week. I think I'm going to come home on my lunch today. Actually, no way because I didn't bring lunch to go to work with and kind of like start packing a little bit more um i did some laundry this morning and that's all done which is good i need to post a video today that i already have ready to go and i need to start working on my makeup video so i might do that on lunch because i cannot do that when jeffrey's home because he's playing his game and you can hear him in the background it's just too complicated so when he's not there and i'm on lunch it's easier except for that i'm eating as well so Anyways, I'm gonna get off here and head to work. So sorry about the angle, but I wanted to catch up with you guys real quick because I forgot earlier. So last night after we got, like I stopped talking to you guys, we watched Game of Thrones, which was pretty good. And we also, we really didn't do a lot. Like I put a coconut oil treatment in my hair. My hair feels so good. It was only a little bit itchy in that one spot in the back of my scalp last night this morning but barely at all and then I used the Pantene Pro-V Intense Moisture or Hydration which I was kind of scared to use just because I've heard that if you dye your hair like some of it they put plastic in it so when somebody like bleached their hair it kind of like burnt their hair off which I'm not sure is true or not that's what I've heard so I'm kind of leery about that granted I really don't dye my hair a lot but I might be redoing the streak. I probably am gonna redo it soon. So I probably won't use it then, but my hair just feels so good. Like I washed it twice. And then I used like mixed in my tea tree and my Paul Mitchell smoothing. So both of those felt wonderful. Like my hair feels so good right now and it's not frizzy. I did not blow dry it except for the front part of my bangs because they're so long and I'm probably not going to be getting it cut till Wednesday. Anyways, I'm sorry about this angle and the shade, the lighting. It's all sorts of screwed up. But I just wanted to catch up with you guys. I'm headed into work right now. So y'all have a wonderful Monday. Good morning, y'all. So it is Tuesday. I'm about to head to work. Yesterday, I came home for lunch and got the Urban Decay review tutorial all done. So the voiceover is completely filmed. Then I came home and I finished it up. There were just some minor touches to do to it and I got it all completed. It's all 
already actually uploaded on YouTube. It's not set to public yet, but I just need to work on a cover photo, which I need the sun for. Um, and then J Jeffrey came home for a little bit for lunch. He brought me Zaxby's, which was really, really sweet. I only eat like one sandwich and a couple fries. And then I told him to eat the rest because it's all wheat. And I don't know. I just didn't want it. Well, he went back to work. I talked to my sister for a little bit yesterday, which was always nice. Went to Target to pick up some like baby wipes and stuff like that. And then... Yeah, that was pretty much it. Oh, I watched Bachelorette last night. What did you guys think? I'm just like, seriously, Chad, like, you're just like a tool. And, like, at first Jeffrey got where he was coming from, but then when I kind of told him what was happening last night, I don't think he really cares for him. I don't think he ever really did. But he understood where he was coming from with a house full of guys and stuff like that. Not threatening people, but just saying that sometimes they were acting a little bit childish. I'm starting to think that the one guy, I can't remember his name, the guy that was in his underwear. I was starting to think, from Canada, I think he is. I was starting to think, oh my gosh, he's like actually realizing that if he hangs out with Chad, what effects that's gonna have on him and the house. Which I think is really cool. I'm kinda glad that they kept him around now because that's gonna make things a lot more interesting. Although I don't really feel like they ever show him together, so I don't really feel like they have much of a connection. But for the show purposes, I really like it because it's gonna make things probably way more interesting. The cool thing is, it's tonight as well, so I'm really excited to watch it. Jeffrey's like, they're always two hours. I'm like, yeah. Today, I do need to go exercise. It's actually Brandy's funeral today. Uh, I'm just trying to be optimistic. I can't go, unfortunately. I just can't take that time off work, and especially missing work on Friday, and I couldn't have stayed Friday anyways because I was just such an emotional like wreck and mess. So I need to text Michaela and just let her know and just tell her I'm thinking about her. But yeah, and I'll probably post something on Facebook later about it. So I'm going to get off here and go to work. I'm having a good morning so far. Just trying to be optimistic because I know she'd want me to be happy and just not fret. I did get a new air freshener. I have not had one in this car yet. I bought it from Bath and Body Works back in, I don't even know, probably the winter time. And I just never, ever put it in. I just, like, completely forgot about it. But anyways, I'm going to get off here because my phone is almost out of storage. Hey, y'all. So I just got home. I went for a run after work. I feel so good. I hope I got a little bit of sun. I did over 11,000 steps so far today for Fitbit, so that's awesome because that counts towards my packed up. Anytime that you do over 10,000 steps, it counts as a day towards it. I'm only doing one this week because it was going to be hard for me to get to, get to Gold's Gym, and sometimes it's really hard to get 10,000 steps since I'm not walking all the time and sitting in a chair most of the time. Sorry about the background. We're packing. Can't really do much about it. Um, I wanted to show you guys this cool thing I got today from work. So it's got my name on it. And I'm really excited. I was so happy when I saw this. I wonder if Jeffrey's getting one. I got a $25 Walmart gift card. So I'm holding that kind of odd. I was excited about that. And then I got VIP tickets to the movie theaters. There we go. These right here. I'm really excited. So Jeffrey and I will get to go to the movies. And if he got some, we'll get to go twice. So I came home today on lunch, packed up a couple things, kind of semi-worked on my video, uh, my vlog, not very much, but just a little bit. I'm about to make this Yudi's macaroni and cheese. I've never tried this before. I know it's not the best, but hey, I'm still learning. I was watching somebody's video and they're kind of like, it's kind of like going vegan. Just because it's vegan, like pasta or whatever, doesn't mean it's exactly healthy for you. So, there's still unhealthy foods out there, unfortunately. I did find these brownies that I absolutely love. Obviously, you can tell because there's not many in there. Jeffrey loves them, too. And then this cookie dough is pretty awesome, too, if you're looking for something like that. I also got some bagels, too, that I like. They're the sesame. So, yeah, I'm excited. My arm's kind of sore. I think my friend's going to come over tomorrow to cut my hair, which should be interesting. I can't believe I've got room on my phone to film right now because earlier it said I was going to be out soon. 
in like four minutes and this one says three minutes. So I'm gonna get off here and watch The Bachelorette.